Alright guys, so I'm starting the day off by decluttering my Tupperware um, cupboard and like reorganizing them. Last night I bought some new ones at the Dollar Tree, which is these ones right here. So, I put them in and I have some other ones kind of organized back there and some cups over on that side that I plan on keeping. But, for the most part, I feel like some of them I've had for way too long and they just need to go right now. I want to do a little something in my bedroom. I want to see if I can DIY some wall art. Shouldn't be too hard. So when I'm done, I have to go to the Dollar Tree. But for the most part, getting rid of all of those. So, I need to just get a big garbage bag and just drop them in there. I'm going to the Dollar Tree to get the stuff that I want and I literally look like crap right now. But it's okay because the Dollar Tree is like right up the block. And um, I'm off. And I'm home. The fuck? Who cares? Everybody who gets to encounter. Listen, at least I'm clean and I smell nice. But I'm about to run up there really quickly, buy the stuff that I want and come back i wrote them down on a list do i need to get napkins last night i was in there and i was wondering no i still have two and a half that will stay so um yeah i'm gonna run out there really quickly and get some stuff i need to buy a printer i really do but yeah so guys i bought a few little items at the dollar tree i bought this oh it's upside down this and i'm gonna put it right over here on my little floating shorts that I have. I'm literally wearing the tiniest shorts I own right now. So I'm going to move this and replace it with this. Love that. That's cute. And then I bought ruler, thumbtacks, or push pins rather, black ink pens, pencils, and pencil pens. Oh. I bought these picture frames for what I want to do, but then this one has a little crack on the side, which is so annoying. What's more annoying is the fact that I was in there for so long and I left with something that has a crack, like WTF. So I bought three of them. Let me check on the other two right now. It's not so bad because I feel like I can fix it with my... um my hot glue gun the other two are actually perfect so that's not that's okay so i bought these three because i have something in mind like i said i'm gonna be a dear white queen today and then i bought this little sketch pad to maybe sketch shit on because i couldn't find any printer paper but i i found these poster boards that i think i'm gonna draw onto and then cut so i'm gonna be sitting here at the table for a hot little minute trying to figure this out
So guys, I'm bleaching this wig for a lady. She wanted the roots to stay dark and then the rest of it to be more, um, got to kind of feather that out. She wanted the roots to stay dark, or at least the root and the top to stay dark, and then the rest of it to be more of like a 27 color type situation. I don't know how good we're doing with the color. And then I also have another wig that I'm dying for her. The wig was already red, but she wanted it to be more red, so right now I just have the red dye inside of this pot of hot water, and the wig is inside of it. This is my first time doing the water dye, but I've watched it a lot. There's no real huge technique to it or anything, so that is what it is. I'm going to just let it sit in there to pretty much soak up all the color, but the color normally transfers really quickly. Once the water is hot and you dip the wig in there, it takes the color, and then I'm going to wash this one out. Hello, guys. So, <laughs> not going to lie, I did not make the best attempts at vlogging today. However, I washed my hair and threw it up. I cooked. I cleaned the DIY that I was trying to pull off didn't work out. It turns out I needed a printer. So, I bought a printer on Amazon. I ended up spending $117 in total just so I could get the printer tomorrow to do the DIY that I want. So luckily I'm off tomorrow too. The printer is arriving tomorrow and the printer paper and the ink is coming today. Let me make sure that I this is the ink that I bought. Because I don't know nothing about printers, so chances are, chances are this wasn't the ink. Maybe it's not. I also don't know nothing about printers, so I'm going to have to wait until my husband gets home tomorrow. Or I'm going to have to Google how to set up the printer. I mean, a paper comes with it to tell you what to do. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I really don't know what I'm doing <clears throat> about the printer or about anything. So... I'm going to end this vlog right here and then I'll pick the vlog back up tomorrow when I actually get the printer and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.